It's Rachel, Boston, Roundup, and Dee Dee. Dee here too. But the Sometimes Weekly Club Review! Hello, and welcome to Rachel Rawson's... Oh. <coughs> Hello, good evening, and welcome to Rachel Rawson's Roundup with Needy. Uh, I'm not actually there. Here is our weekly review of vlogs, and in at number five is... No idea what my voice is doing, and I'm just rolling with it. Uh, I don't know how you pronounce his name actually. Um, I think it's uh, Where Mew Mew. This guy. So Where Mew Where whatever the heck your name is. Do me a favour, message me and tell me how the hell I pronounce your name. Let's do that first. So anyway, your attention to detail in your time lapse, in your box, and your uh, the polishy varnishy stuff. It looked really good. Top marks, you're in at number five. Great job, buddy. I love to see time lapses of people just being freaking creative. In at number four, we have Cody Warner. Warner, Warner, Wiener, Weasel, with I wrecked my one wheel. Silly sausage. Okay, so one, you don't get brownie points because you didn't record the bail, but two, you get brownie points for like smashing your face in, your hand in, your arm in, ripping your shirt to shreds, saving the camera, and fixing the microphone. You're in at number four. We were born the problem with helmets is just how invincible you feel. Everything just, you feel invincible. Justin, thank you. I gotta go take a shower. Guess what? Location of the meeting I have right now just changed. It's one wheelable. Let's get this thing come on. When you really get cruising on these things, it is no joke. Oh, that dude was looking. He was like, what is that? <laughs> now people don't know whether to look at the camera or the one wheel. It's good, it's good stuff. This has been a vlog completely dedicated to one wheel thus far. <laughs> All right, let's talk about business or something else. So, how was your day? Needy, your thoughts on that one? Well, as some people are already aware, uh, I like most videos that I watch, probably like 5 to 10% more than uh, safe levels. That video I liked probably about 70% more than that. And I'm a little concerned about it. Maybe you should go see a doctor. Just saying. In at number three, we have Daniel Pasquale Vlogs with his traffic tale, or his most recent traffic tale, about his two hour commute to LA. Now, this is an interesting one, and I really like it because this man has managed to make a traffic jam freaking entertaining. Welcome to an installment of Traffic Tales! These are the tales, the freaking tales. These are the tales that I tell so quick. So how we do it in South Central Los Angeles, if you gotta get through something, you just gotta get it. Oh yeah, halfway through the uh, commute, humans gotta urinate. Don't try this at home, kid. Totally illegal. Now back to traffic. One thing about commuting through the hood, you always got to keep your head on a swivel because you never know when the next... Hey Needy, that was a humdinger, wasn't it? No, that was, it was actually just a graphic of an eggplant. That was not as... Um... 
In at number two, we have Michael T. Panetta with Dealing with Trolls on YouTube. I love his brutal honesty in this one, and also his level-headedness about how he's talking about quite a mm, interesting subject. I think he does it in a really adulty adult way. <laughs> also, I love the fact that the guy has got other skills and actually just chucks them out there. One of the things that drives me crazy uh, about YouTube is the comment section. And when I talked in the original video uh, about, you know, blocking out the negativity and, you know, trying to be more positive, my comment section has gotten way more positive, if not completely positive. Before that, when I was doing tech reviews, obviously I'm sharing my opinion, people may not like it. The comments didn't just say, I don't agree with you on such and such a tech product. I got, hey fat ass, get on a treadmill. Hey fatty, you should go on a diet. I get those comments and I'm like, you know what? Like, I haven't been called fat before. I know I'm fat. Uh, duh. But those comments go above and beyond any type of constructive criticism. We'll continue that conversation. First, I have to make a list of what I need down here because I didn't do it the other day. The wife gave me a list for this weekend because we're going away and I gotta get something to eat. Did you like that one, Needy? And in at number one, this is going to get a full spin, by the way. Mm -hmm. A Joe with new tube. Ah. A Joe came back with an epic video recently, trying to inspire new creators to why the hell wouldn't you want a YouTube channel? I couldn't agree with the man more. What do you get with A Joe, though? It's quality over quantity every time. I also love the fact that he promotes the crap out of other creators. Or a top banana. Nothing stops, eh, hey, Joe? Eh, hey, Joe? What's stopping you from opening up your own YouTube channel? Now, you could be asking yourself lots of questions. You'd be saying, Joe, can I get on YouTube? Can I open a channel on YouTube? If you're a filmmaker and you made a film, you could put it in a theater and maybe 200, 300 people would see it. On YouTube, you can upload a video and reach a million or millions of people with your video. Think about that. Rock on, Joe. Rock on. I have been your host, Rachel Rawson. Also, thanks very much to Needy. Well, you did mostly all the work. Thanks for